In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a form with a payment option inside WordPress. There are several different ways we can achieve this, but I'm going to teach you the easiest and I say one of the most customizable and powerful ways to do this, which is by using a plugin called WP Forms. WP Forms is technically a form builder for WordPress. It has a wonderful free version as well, which you can download and use on your website to create forms. But if you opt for the premium version, then a world of possibilities opens up with add-ons, which are like plugins for WP Forms. And one of those add-ons is a set of payment options that we can activate on your site and use payments or collect payments on your website. And that's exactly what I'm going to demonstrate how you can do that. So check out WP Forms from the links in the description. Make a purchase if you like it. Otherwise, you can watch the video and then decide if WP Forms, the premium version is for you. Let's get started on my site. So I'm inside the admin area of my website already and I have the WP Forms plugin already installed. If you go to WP Forms, you make a purchase, you'll get two different things that you can download or store on your computer. One is a zip file, which will be the plugin file you need to upload to your site. You can see WP Forms right here. If you get the zip file from the website, you can go into plugins, you can do, go into add new and there'll be an upload option right here. Once you have this upload option, you can drag and drop the zip file here or select it from your computer and it will be installed on your site. You'll also have uh, a download or I said, access key, a license key that you'll have. And once you have that, you can go into WP Form settings right here and enter the activation key. You can see it, mine is right here and it's already activated. Once you've done this, you're ready to now take the next steps that will uh, use the add-ons and install WP Forms add-ons on a site. So to access the add-ons inside WP Forms, all you have to do is go to the add-ons section. And once you are activated with the pro version, you'll see this add-ons menu. If you don't see the add-ons menu, that means you're using the free version as of now. So if you go to the add-ons here, you'll see all these different add-ons. And as I said, a world of possibilities opens up when you use the pro version or when you use add-ons. So you see, we have add-ons for active campaign, authorize.net, Aweber, so you can connect your forms with any of the email service providers. We have also a lot of different add-ons for geolocation, form abandonment, uh, Google Sheets add-on, lead forms add-on, MailerLite, and a lot of different options. But in this video, we're concerned with only the payment options. So we have some payment add-ons as well. We have the PayPal commerce add-on, we have the PayPal standard add-on, and we have Square where are done when we also have the stripe add-on and now you can choose any of these add-ons that you like if you are familiar with square you can use square add-on if you're familiar with paypal you can use paypal i'm going to demonstrate this video using the stripe add-on and to install any add-on all you have to do is click the install add-on button and it'll just take a few seconds and the install or the add-on will be installed automatically on your site and how can you verify if it's installed you'll see it right here active and you can activate it and deactivate the uh, uh, the add-on and you can also go into the plugin section and just uh, check the individual plugins. The add-ons to WP Forms are installed actually as plugins on your site. So you see WP Forms and you see WP Forms Stripe. That means the Stripe add-on is now installed on my website. And once this is done, we'll need to configure Stripe access on our website so that Stripe can actually process the information on the correct accounts. To do that, what we'll do is we go to WP Forms, we'll go to settings once again, and you'll see now payments options open up here. So I'll click the payments options and these are the settings that you need to configure. So right now you see Stripe is not connected for your current payment mode. So I'll have to connect and configure Stripe before I can use or collect payments using any of the forms. First, you need to set the currency. I'll just keep it to US dollars for now. And what I'm gonna do just for this demonstration or uh, demonstration, I'm gonna enable test mode because I am not collecting or this is not a real website I'm configuring this. So. I'm gonna use test mode and what you can do if you're not sure how to configure this or you're doing this for the first time, I would still recommend you use the test mode, configure everything and then once you're sure that everything's working perfectly in a test mode where no real money is exchanging hands, you can disable the test mode and follow the same process to connect Stripe. So once you have enabled test mode or if you're just adventurous and you wanna do it live, you can just click this connect with Stripe button and Stripe will open up and you'll need to connect your account if you already have one or if you don't have an account, then you'll have to create a new account. The process is very straightforward. You just fill in your business details, some of your personal information, and also your bank details. I already have a test account set up, so you'll see some of the information pre-filled in. So I'll just quickly uh, navigate through the process and set up my account. Just as a security measure, uh, Stripe might also send you a text message with a security code. I'm getting it, so I'm just waiting for that. And I'll enter that and proceed. So once all the settings are configured, you'll be brought back to your site just like this. And sometimes you might notice that even though you configured everything correctly, you'll still see the connect with Stripe button. And sometimes what happens is, uh, even though you configure everything correctly, for some reason, the test mode is disabled accidentally. You might see something like this. So in that case, just enable the test mode and you'll see the connection status done. And then just make sure to save your settings. That's important. Otherwise, uh, the test mode will be disabled once again, which you don't want. So once you've done this and you've configured everything, you've changed the currency, now we can start creating 
creating forms which will use the payment options to create a new form you'll just go to add new here and that this will uh, start the form creation workflow and this is the form creation workflow at the beginning the first step here you can name your form and you can choose from a hundreds of templates of forms already created for you. For example, if you scroll here, you'll see tons of different options. You'll see a playtesting feedback form, rainbow registration form, blue badge application form, tons of different forms already created. There are also filters here. So if you want to just find a specific form to choose and customize, you can use that or you can use the search option. So for example, I'll just search for payment. And I'll see a lot of different forms here which accept payments. So in this case, uh, I'll just start for, from scratch, just completely a blank template so that I can demonstrate some of the features of WP forms if you're a new user it will be helpful so i'll just choose the blank form and first i'll name the form i'll just name it payment and i'll create a blank form and this will open up the form creation interface and it's a very simple interface it's just drag and drop think of it as legos you stack things on together so let's imagine we are creating an order form what information is required by let's say you when you when a user fills in the information so you need your first name, last name, you'll need email, phone number, address, and of course, uh, also the payment information. So let's create that form very quickly. I'll drag the single line text here first, which will add as the first name or just the name. Then I'll also have the, let's say the phone number here. I also need the email. Let's say I want to add the email above the phone number. So I'll just drag it above, so something like this. I'll leave it and the email will be added here. I would also prefer their address. So I'll just add the address here. And of course, you can drag and drop anything that you like. So it says, let's say I want to address, add the address before the phone number. I can drag it on top or the bottom. So everything is completely customizable, even though or whatever you do. Then comes the payment fields. So there are three categories of fields you see here. Standard fields, fancy fields and payment fields. In the payment fields, there are multiple options. As I explained that you have PayPal options, you have Stripe, you have Square. Since I configured Stripe, I'll use this Stripe credit card option. I'll just drag it somewhere on the screen and let it go. And you'll see Stripe credit card option already done. So you have single line text, which can be customized. So how do you customize the labels? Just click on the field and the font or field option will open up. Then you say, hey, just enter your first name. So now you have first name, email address, address, phone number and Stripe credit card. There's one more thing you will need to enable before you can accept payments. Go to the payments option here. And you have all these payment or add-ons, payment add-ons that are available with WP Forms. Since we activated just the Stripe add-on, that will be only one that's activated. Rest are grayed out. I'll just click here. I need to enable this. So enable Stripe payments. Once this is done, I can uh, enter some description and choose emails for receipts, customer email, and just enable some conditions or I say configure some detailed options. These conditions are very powerful or these options are very powerful, but out of the scope of this video. So I'll just uh, leave that for another video. Once you're done, make sure to save go back to setup or not the setup, the fields and go back to add fields. And now you'll see everything done here. And once again, if you want to customize the placeholders, the labels, anything else, you have this complete control. So you can go here, change the thing, add descriptions, go to advanced, do something else, font, and even the smart logic. Let's say, for example, you want to make some fields available only when some fields are enabled. For example, if you're uh, collecting donations, if they enter or enable a check mark, only then you show the donation field. Everything is uh, completely customizable. That's why I chose WP Forms for this video, because this gives you all those powerful options instead of just a drag and drop or slap on solution for collecting payments. And once you're happy with how the form looks, you will have to embed it on a page, right? So first, let's save it. And there are two ways to embed it on any page. You can go to embed here or just use uh, or create a new page. Or if you have already a page created, you can do that as well. So I'm just going to use the embed option and I'll also, also explain how you would do this on an existing page. So that once I click embed, there are two options. I can select an existing page or I'll create a new page if just for this example. I'll create a new page and I'll say, hey, test payments. Let's go. And this will create a new page and embed the form on the page as well. So this is the block builder and the form is already added on the site or on the page. Now, how do you add it on any other page? What you do is this is just a simple WP forms block. So I'll delete this block for now. So just imagine that you're on any page or post on your site and you want to add this particular form here. Just type in the forward slash and choose WP forms. This is the WP forms block. You can also go to the plus icon here or choose the plus icon and add the WP forms block. It's just adding a block on the block editor. And once this opens up, you'll have to select the appropriate form. Since we just have created the one form, it will show, or it will show just the one form. But if you have more than one form, you select the right form and it will be shown up here. And you also have some customization abilities, which is a new feature inside WP forms. If you want to change or change the colors and the backgrounds and everything, uh, 
I say cosmetic or visual about the form, you can use the block builders options right here. So change the colors, the backgrounds, the style labels, everything. So this gives you even more control over how the forms look like. So if you have a specific kind of color schemes going on in a website, you have a specific brand colors, you can customize WP forms to match your brand colors as well. So that gives you even additional level of control. So once you're happy with everything, just click publish, publish, and this will be live. I'll just open it up in a new tab. And you have the test payments, first name, email address, phone number, and credit card. Everything done for you. Now, since this is a test account, obviously payments will not go through, but this works perfectly. Once you've set up your account, everything should work perfectly. So you can enter your email, you can enter your card number, expression, everything, and just submit and payments will go through. And whatever you've configured in the Stripe add-on, the emails will get receipts and your customers will also start getting receipts. And of course, you can see all transactions happening right inside Stripe account. So any transactions or anything happens on your uh, site, any payments you get, you can check, double check, inside your Stripe account. And that's how easy it is to create any kind of form with payment options. WP Forms makes it extremely easy to create customized visible experiences with, with or without payments on your website. And that's why it's one of the best form plugins out there. So if you want to learn more about WP Forms, I'll place a couple of videos out here. And if you're interested in learning more about WordPress, how it's easy or WordPress products can make it easy for you to build a great website, then subscribe to this channel, comment if you have any questions, like this video if you liked it, and watch for more videos. You're watching Yuvraj from WP Beginner. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.